Hey guys, I'm the Disc Golf Teacher and today we're at Hanscom Park here in Omaha, Nebraska and one of my previous videos did really well where you guys saw me throw the Halo Wraiths and the Halo Destroyers and that's what we're going to do today. We're going to see how they perform on the course, all right? So I have two Halo Wraiths, the Jennifer Allen Halo Wraith as well as the Garrett Gerthy Halo Wraith. And then my two destroyers are both Calvin Heinberg Tour Series Halo Destroyers. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip to see which one's gonna go first and we'll alternate each hole after that to go first off the tee. Whichever disc lands closest to the basket, since I don't really wanna putt with these, I'll give that disc a point, nine holes, whichever one wins at the end is our big winner. All right, we're gonna flip forward. If it's heads, the destroyer will go first. If it's tails, the wraith will go first, all right? So for hole one, looks like the wraith, the land on tails. The wraith's gonna go first. Let's get into it. All right, starting out here on hole one. Uh, this is a par three, 267 feet. We're gonna throw a forehand. All right, destroyer. All right, so those ended up a lot closer than I thought they were gonna be. Uh, there is the Halo Destroyer there in the bottom of the screen. Then I'll walk up here towards the Halo Wraith, which absolutely parked the hole about eight feet away. All right, hole two, par three, 279 feet. And you gotta go kind of through this gap. So I'll probably throw a forehand. All right, we got the Wraith over here to the right. And so obviously the Destroyer got way close. It's about 10 feet away. It gets the point here on hole number two. Hole three is 219 feet. And it's kind of around this corner to the left up here. You gotta beat all these trees. It's uh, winter time right now, so there's not as many leaves. So let's see if we can make it happen with the hyzer. All right, for hole three, you can see over here on the left that the destroyer got quite a bit closer, so it gets another point for hole three. All right, hole four, the shortest hole in Omaha, Nebraska. We got 135 foot par three, and it's just over the crest of this hill. And I have actually aced this one before, but definitely not with a destroyer or a wraith. Let's see how I can do here. Wraith first. All right, I hit this tree with the destroyer, so as long as the wraith got through and hung on on the side of this hill, it will be, it'll be the one that's getting the point here. And, yep, there it is right there. So it's about 15 feet away. It gets the point for this one. Hole five is 270 feet. It's par three. It's, uh, there's two routes to this hole. There's the backhand route that's kind of just to the left of that big bunch of trees there in the middle of the screen. Or what I'm gonna throw is over here to the left, a little forehand route, that if you can get through that, it's a little sneaky, but it'll give you a putt every time. All right, destroyer first. All right, I thought I absolutely parked the Wraith, but it turns out the destroyer over here on the right is much closer, about 15 feet away here from the basket. The wraith, you can see, is down there in front of that tree. Hole six is par three, 267 feet. And from the tee pad here, you have to kind of go under this tree, all right? And then it's kind of way down there where that guy's walking to the left, all right? You don't know how many times I've hit this tree. Let's see if I can avoid it here. Get 
Right, too much height for the destroyer. I hit that tree, but up here you can see that wraith is it's still short, but it's maybe 30 feet from the basket. Pull seven is 222 feet, and from the T pad here, you have to really kind of squeeze through this gap. All right, and you can see the basket. Let me move to the left a little bit. All right, the Halo Wraith is right here, the Destroyer's over there, and the Basket's over here, so the Destroyer wins this one. Pole 8 is part 3, 237 feet, and from the tee pad here, we have to go around these trees, and you can see it up this hill to the left, all right? So this is really tricky. We're gonna try a forehand roller on this hole. The destroyer is still here at the base of the hill about 30, 35 feet away. However, the wraith, right behind this tree, we're talking about 15 feet. Easy tap in. Last hole, hole nine, 264 feet, par three. All right, and from the tee pad here, we have to go kind of between these two trees on either side of the screen, right towards that middle one. And then you gotta throw a forehand so it hooks back to the right at the end it is over the top of this hill so i won't really know which one's closest until we get up there Destroyer. All right, the destroyer hit this tree right here, right before it got to the basket, it's still about 35 feet away. However, over here to the right is the Halo Wraith. All right, I would say that's maybe 20 feet away, so it gets the last point of the day. All right, guys, so that'll do it. The Halo Wraith won five of the nine holes and the destroyer won four. Please like this video if this helped you out and also subscribe to my channel. That really does help me. And we'll see you guys out on the course.